Hey y'all, how are you? This is Nicole and thank you guys for watching another video. Um, today we are going to be stuffing my cash envelopes in my wallet and then we're also going to be stuffing my sinking funds. So really quickly before we get into the stuffing, um, I think I've showed this before but as you guys know I am also not just a budgeter but I am a consistent planner. Um, I do have this really great shop that I love. Hold on real quick. Um, I have this really great shop that I do love. So if you are into planning, um, into planner stickers, this shop is called Pinky Mono Papers. Um, and yeah. And so I did buy some stickers from her. Um, she always puts in like a really, like I guess like a, an awesome sticker with a code to get like so much off. But this one, since we are going into Halloween, this one says something wicked, this way comes, which is cute. Um, and I did get some stickers for the summer, but I know we're going into fall. Um, but these are really cute as well. They're watermelon um, inspired. It's MM Melon. I think it's supposed to be MM Melon. So this is kind of what her stickers look like. You do get the different individual boxes to put on your planner, like in the calendar section. And then she does have the different days of the week along with some um some little stickers i do normally use these um track your water track your groceries your laundry if you're going to be weighing in working out taking out the trash so i do get these on etsy um this is the wicked wonders we are going into halloween and i already um got the first page i think let me see the first page i did get like a couple weeks ago not sure here we go so the i already got the halloween stickers for this set So this is what my Halloween spread will look like. It'll have the days of the week. It has a bat, some cards, which I probably won't put that up there. Love, sick potion. And then I like this girl because um, she's like bat girl. And I'm just gonna basically use these sticker boxes to put in my bills on my calendar. So for me, this was basically like, um, I guess you could say like a, uh, together so then after that the last stickers oops the last stickers that I bought are Valentine's Day stickers so I love her little girls that she I love the girls that she has on here I should say little girls with the girls and then the boxes and then the days of the week again tracking your water and then you have like these little icons on the on the side so again this um this sticker shop is pinky mono papers pinky mono papers you can actually find her on etsy i'll make sure that i put her information down below if you want to buy stickers from her they come pretty quickly and they're not really expensive and really great quality so all right so we can go ahead and get into cash stuffing. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and count out our money. So we have 100, 200, 50, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
5, 10, 15, $15, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. $5 and ones. Yep, so we have $810. Alright, so let's start with, put this up here real quick. So we're going to start off with my cash envelopes. Um, with my personal, I normally do stuff 20. So I do work from home, so I don't, I normally use this for like when I um, have lunch at work. So I only go in once, once a week, and this week we had lunch from oh, one of my friends brought us lunch, and then I also someone owed me a couple of dollars, so I put this in my personal. So again, normally I have 20 in here. Right now I have 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So I should have $29 in here. So I'm gonna actually put this to the side. And I had $29.55. So we'll also put this to the side and we'll go ahead and put in a 20. All right, for groceries, I did last time put in 150. So I still have $50. So 20, 40, and 50. I'm gonna put this over here on the side and we're gonna go ahead and just put in 100 this time. So 20, 40, 60, 81. So 100 in groceries. All right. In toiletries, we're gonna put in $10. We had nothing in there. Normally, I do put in 10. In house, hope you guys can see. In household supplies, we're going to put in $10. Normally, we do have $10 in here, but as you can see, it's down. And then in gas, we are going to put in $40. So 20, 40. And then this is going to be self-care. Um, real quick, let me take my cards. Okay. Self-care. Normally I put in $50 per paycheck. So I did end up having about $100. Um, so we have 30 left over. So we're gonna put 30 over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in 50. 20. 40 50 just $50 and this is for my cash wallet I'm gonna put this over to the side and um, let's start with my sinking funds yeah okay um, I do want to say that I have seen a lot of videos lately where a lot of the community, um, there's a lot of people who have had to start over in budgeting, um, in their sinking funds. And I just think it's really great that, you know, if people make mistakes or life happens that, you know, everyone that I've seen, they're coming back on and they're getting back into saving. Um, cause I think so many times, as you guys all know, whenever we mess up or life happens to us and we end up having to use our money or we can't budget, we just stop. And I love the fact that so many people are back, even if they stop for a little while, they have come back. Um, you know, things happen and we just need to make sure that we do show grace to everyone because budgeting isn't easy, right? Paying bills can be really difficult and things happen. So I hope that everyone that watches this video, everyone in the community, even if you're not a budgeter, I just hope that if you do watch these videos, you do show grace to those that um, do try to stay on a budget. 
So, uh, let's go. Okay, so with supplies, this is for my business. With supplies, we're gonna put in $10. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80. We're gonna put in 10, which gives me 90. Um, but yeah, I think that's really great. Again, I commend everyone, you know, that's come back and trying to get back on track. So, and anyone that's thinking about budgeting, like and do it if you need to do videos to keep yourself accountable yeah go ahead it's a great it's a great way to keep yourself accountable for the money that you're spending um birthdays we're gonna do 10 try not to talk too much y'all sorry 50 70 90 100 110 and we'll go ahead and do with 110 that'll be 120 so 50 70 90 100 110 120 and birthdays Um, with planning, we are going to put in ten dollars. So we have 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. So we have 43 dollars in planning, which is almost time to start um, getting my planner ready for 2024. With health, we are going to put in 10. So we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 101. So we have one, hold on. 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 201, 201. Okay, in beauty, we're going to put in 53 because I actually did get a refund. 50, one, two, and three. So we're gonna put 53 back into beauty. In clothing, we are going to put in $20. Okay. So we have 100, 120, 40, 60, 80. So it was 180, 190, 191, 192. So we're going to do $192. Okay. So that's it for these cash envelopes these cash envelopes are my reoccurring so I do use these all the time um, we're gonna go into my cash envelopes that I only kind of go through like yearly right so I just put these new little covers on so I'm trying to get used to them all right so with Amazon we are going to not have to put anything in here because we are fully funded um canva we have not started in canva as of yet right thanksgiving we are fully funded so we are good with that um i did make some new um some new trackers and with the new trackers these are fall vibes i'm gonna actually um put in five dollars and I need to hold on real quick. So I'm going to put in $5 for fall vibes. I'm kind of getting, this is kind of late. So, it's all good though. So, we'll put in $5 for fall vibes. Right, so that's for all the decor that we need. I kind of already have decor now, so I'll be good. Um, for winter we're gonna also put in five dollars so we're just gonna check off one of the presents that'll check off on the presents and then we're gonna put in another five dollar bill All right all right for christmas we are going to put in um what am I gonna do for Christmas? Twenty dollars. 
so Yo, I was about to go crazy. Mm-mm. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40. Whew. I was about to go crazy, y'all. Okay. I found my Christmas money, you guys. So, the Christmas money was in. I just did some new trackers for Valentine's Day. The money was behind the Valentine's Day tracker. I almost had a whole... Ooh, okay. All right. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So we're going to put in $20. And we are going to check this off. So we are almost at $500, right? So... 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 1, 2, 3. All right. So... We have 100, 200, 220, 40, 60, 83, 320, 40, and 60. So we have 360. All right, so we're trying to get to 500. Whew, my heart was going, y'all. I was like, oh my God. And I'm like, I just took money off the bank. There's no reason why I shouldn't have money in Christmas. I haven't even fully funded this yet. Oh my. Okay. This was my Valentine's Day tracker that the money was sitting behind. I'm not going to put anything in this one yet. All right. Um, and actually, with my emergency fund, I'm going to take this out because I actually I need to find a $500 slip because I actually use $500 in my emergency fund. So we're going to take this out and we will start back um, putting money back into the emergency fund. So again, these are my sinking funds that I only go into once a year. All right, then we are going to go into my month ahead. My month ahead binder. All right, so this is my month ahead binder. With my month ahead binder, um, I do not take out money for the rent. I just document that I took out 150. So right now we have 1050 for rent. All right. So then we are going to go into um utilities, right? So with utilities, um, we're gonna put in $20. So I just actually made these little utility cards um, so that I can kind of break down what I'm saving for. So that's it. We're going to put in $20 for utilities. So we have 100, 120, 40, 50, and 5. So we have 155. Right now we funded my phone bill. So once we funded more things then i'll do like i'll check it off but all right in subscriptions hope you guys can see I need this a little bit. okay hopefully all right in subscriptions we're gonna put in 25 dollars um so 25 25 dollars and that should actually cover stash etsy and should be the website my website let me see 1482 768 yeah all right so that's 25 in subscriptions and in insurance um we're going to put in i need to start actually the life insurance so with life insurance we're going to start there and we are going to put in five dollars oh Okay, 
So I'm gonna take that $5 out of some side money real quick that I got for, I had a couple refunds and I'm just gonna put that the $5 into my life insurance. Um, I knew that when I counted the money that I was gonna put in here and my a little bit of side money that I got for my refund, I knew that I was off somewhere. So that's probably where I was off. So we put in $5. For life insurance, that's 100, 105, 10, 15. So 115, and we need to save 145. So I'm almost there. All right, with home, um, we are going to put in $51 with home. I'm trying to see, did I want to put in? Let's do hold on. I'm gonna hold off on home. Um, let me go to savings. Let me go to savings. All right. So what we're putting in savings is two fifty, right? We're gonna put 250 in savings, but then I'm gonna also put this money here in savings. So we have 250. So one, two, 50. So yeah, I'm gonna put 250 in savings, and then let's calculate what our leftover money was. So. Our leftover money was 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our leftover money was 109. Let's put that up here. So let's go ahead and put this all together. We have 109 from cash envelopes and then my regular 250, right? guys all right so what we got what we got so based on my calculations last time i had two thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars <laughs> one thousand so twenty five hundred right so that's twenty six hundred twenty seven hundred twenty eight hundred so we had twenty eight hundred here right so that's eight hundred and fifty eight hundred and seventy eight hundred and ninety 910, 930, 940, 950, 960, 970, 980, 990. Then we have a thousand, right? So then we have a thousand, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So this is 34. So we have 3,034. Jesus. I'm cutting that out too. I'm going to let y'all know. So $3,034. Right? All right. We're moving right along. Moving right along. Okay. And I'll write that later. But I'm going to go ahead and I am going to color in my 250. Right. Um, with electronics, 
I'm not gonna, oh, wait, I am gonna put something in electronic, y'all. Okay, we're gonna do, let's do 17. So we're gonna do 17 in like, I'm sorry, 12 in electronics. Okay. Credit card debit, we're not gonna do anything here yet. In weather and savings challenge, I already added to this for the month. We're gonna go into my car. Now my car, Felix, um, I do save for his maintenance. So with the maintenance, we are going to put in $50. So we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300. Okay, now 320, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So we have 344, right? And y'all, we need to get to 500. So we are not too far from being funded on that as well. My car is a little older, so you know, you got to have a little extra. With taxes, I've already paid my tags. So with taxes, we're gonna put in $20. So this is tags and doing tax. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80. So we have $80 in taxes. And then in cleaning and accessories, we're going to put in $10, which gives us 20. And then I'm gonna go back to home. And who's home? Where are you at? Rent utilities subscriptions, insurance, home. We're gonna put in this $50 bill. All right, so we have 100, 200, 300, 4, 450, 470, 490, 510, 510, which is great, 515, 520. Move right along. All right, so that's my month ahead. You guys, I was all to pieces. This this little cash stuffing for the month. Well, the first this is the first cash stuffing for my envelopes for um this month of September. So thank you guys for sticking with me. You're gonna see some cuts and some edits because whew, I was thrown off. I think I was thrown off because I had so many refunds. Um, I had like some Amazon orders that didn't show up. So I had to, I got refunds on those. And then I had ordered a couple things that I didn't like and I went on ahead and got those refunded. So yeah, the income, my income was a little more, kind of threw me off a little bit. And then I realized that's why. So again, that's why we budget. That's why we do this. Um, but thank you to everyone who's always commenting, liking um, my videos, and leaving positive messages. Please continue. Um, if you do get to the end of this video, I know it was a lot. If you can put a, give me a little leaf. We're going into fall. So if you could put a little leaf at the bottom, I would appreciate it. Again, if you are struggling with budgeting, videos are a great way to kind of try to hold yourself accountable. If you've had to start over, it's all good. It happens to the best of us. Keep trying. So until next time, you guys, take care. Peace.